Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on user profile update. In previous video, we have done here. If you come, if you click here, update, you will see here the detail. This video, we will make the update. Then user will be able to make change in his or her profile. So let's start. I am here in user, the class of user. After select. So here I will create this update method. First I will write here update method. I will create here public method and uh, I will name it update. And this will take uh, three argument. First we will give here table name. Second will be that data is coming. And third one here will be, I will just get where. So the condition of where then I will give here condition if our data is uh, not empty not equal to null then I will create here empty variables columns equal to empty string then condition this will be equal to also empty string then I will write here just i this will be equal to 1. Then here I will write here for each data as key value. This should be dollar key value. And here I will write this column dot equal to key equal to here I will just put this comma then value and we will close it then here I will give it if this dollar i is uh, less than count of uh, data then so this column I will assign this column with comma this will give a comma after each value then we will increment i by one so now we have to check for this where so the where i will also create one for each loop first i will just write here if if not empty or this where and is array where then we are going to do this for each loop for each where as a key and a value and here I will write here this condition a dot equal to key dollar key then dot and here I will just give it equal to this value and here we will close this value after I will just come and increment i by one dollar i will be incremented here by one also and then inside of our first if I will just after this for each I will start the query query equal to this DB and uh, prepare so we are going to write here up that here will be our this table name and then set to columns and where we have this condition okay okay so then here we will close this and here I will write F query execute 
if this query is executed we will return true else we are going to return false return false and uh, here also if this is null then we will return also false so return false here too so now our code from here is done so let's work on action I will come here in action.php what I have to do I will do here let just else if is set dollar post update and uh, if I go to here update page this is the name of update if this button is clicked so after that I will just give here one condition if not empty if this ID is not empty dollar underscore get ID if this ID is not empty then I will just assign this ID with ID variable so here will be ID then I will write here one array because the condition we need an array condition equal to array I will assign array here then assign this ID to array dollar ID and here I will get this method which we just created here this update method here I will write this update should be equal to dollar db update and this db is already we have here we initiated this class so this one has uh, three arguments so first will be here table name we have this table name then second I will give it just fields and uh, then here will be condition we have to create this field now I will just create here this variable of field so will be equal to array and inside this array I will first give for the name this will be assigned with uh, post name and I will just copy this and paste it two more time so this one is here I will make you username and uh, this one here will be email remove this last comma our field is assigned with this array so we will write a message to inform the user that they have updated their profile and we will redirect to index page we have a message here if you can see this was the message here so I will just copy this message and uh, I will paste it here insert I will just change this to update and this message name will be here I will just write user data has been updated successfully so else there is some problem while updating user this is now done if we are successfully updated our user so we will see this message 
I will write just here p tag with class here will be single quote and l margin from lift will be 5 and then text center this is a bootstrap class center and uh, I will just again copy this p and put it here text center and I will just make text danger so this will be red and then I will come here close this p and also I will close this p here so now we have this p with specific message and what we have to do I will come here in index I will start here session session underscore start and uh, here I will just write for session if not empty if our session is not empty I will just come here action copy this session message if this session message is not empty so we have to get the message here I will just write here echo session message after that I will unset this session so once this one displayed then we will remove the session so I will just write here unset session so now let's see if we are going to update our user or getting some error I will come here come back first thing we have error here user line number 42 let's see user line number 42 here column okay this should be semicolon not colon now let's see okay if I want to update this email to test I'll just remove the one and we are having error the invalid argument of for each line number 50 so let's see line number 50 is here okay this where should be where we didn't write the e save and uh, check okay now you see we have successfully updated our user and here is the message this data has been successfully updated i will just give this message i'll come here in action i will just write here p2 of the padding and then bg then will be bg i will give it info so now so now if i come here and uh, refresh you see this message is gone because this was only one time if i come and this test 2 i will remove this and here is our message for the successful message now the problem is this we have two entry with same email address so in next video we will do the check if this email address is already in our database so we will send a message to user even before registration he cannot register that user and save so we are here that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye